The nose is an important part of our breathing apparatus. It's vital for filtering, warming and humidifying air before it reaches the lungs. Olfactory nerves also provide us with a sense of smell which can help to detect poisonous gases or detect more pleasurable aromas. When we exhale, the nose can also prevent heat and moisture loss. The nose also provides a resistance to breathing that is twice that of breathing through the mouth. Resistance has a number of benefits for effective respiration, including increases in total lung volume and an increase in the expiration phase, which is known to increase the body's relaxation response. These important filtration and resistance functions mean that a lack of nasal breathing from issues such as upper respiratory tract infections can negatively influence the lower respiratory tract, especially for people with conditions such as asthma, bronchiectasis and emphysema. During a breathing assessment, you should look to see if your patient is breathing through the nose, and if not, do they have the ability to breathe through the nose? You may need to refer them to an ear, nose and throat specialist. If the patient is able to breathe through the nose, you can help to retrain nasal breathing in the following way. Sit the patient down and instruct them to place one hand over their chest and one hand over their upper abdomen to feel for chest movement and diaphragmatic breathing. The aim with this task is to engage in diaphragmatic breathing, allowing a relaxed expansion of the lower ribs underneath the hand during inspiration as the diaphragm flattens. Aim to slow the breathing rate and make nasal breathing more achievable. Also, lightly pushing the tongue against the roof of the mouth can help to encourage nasal breathing. If you find the nasal valves are collapsing inwards, try the Cottle's maneuver by pulling the cheeks superiorly. It helps to tighten the nasal valve and prevent the collapsing during inspiration. You could start by doing three breaths with the hands over the diaphragm and chest, followed by using the Cottle's maneuver and repeat this depending on the patient ability. Thanks for watching. For more videos on this topic, check out our playlist shown on the screen here. Subscribe and we'll see you soon.